Hi there. Some people express some interest in learning how I do my double exposures in Photoshop. I am by no means an expert, um, but I've been playing around um, and I'm happy to show you guys how I did uh, my cover photo as well as this image that's kind of a similar idea. Um, so here we go. Um, you bring both photos into Photoshop. So I've got this one here and this one here. Then you need to bring them into one frame. Um, so I'll bring, maybe I'll just do this one. So you click on the image, drag it into the other image, and then don't unclick and drag it back in and drop. I'm not gonna worry about that. And here it is. Then you line it up, you just kind of drag it around. You do have the option to make it a little smaller if needed to kind of fit the box. Nope, I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, there it is. I like how that sits. And so it's got the image there and there. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a layer mask. Uh, then, we are going to turn this around. So we want the white on top and the black on bottom there. Um, and we're gonna do a gradient. And this is something you just feel out. So I hit the gradient tool. Make sure it's set here at this first one. Um, this is the linear gradient. Then you're gonna click around the place where you want the transition to happen and just drag down. We're just gonna feel it out. So you see it kind of merges the images together. So I'm just gonna do over and over and over again, just kind of seeing what I like. It's really just trial and error. And essentially when I get it close to what I like, where I want the plants to kind of go in front of her dress and merge as a part of them, and I want the mountain to show in the background, but I'm gonna end up painting that back on. So. This is pretty close to what I want. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that there. So now we're done with the gradient tool. Actually, maybe I'll try just one more, see if I can get, yeah, get a little more of that dress. Oops. All right, I think that's close enough. Uh, then I'm gonna go to the paintbrush and I'm going to paint. I'm gonna reveal and I'm gonna hide parts and that way I can kind of bring it all together how I would like. Uh, get a little bit of bigger brush. That's maybe about what I want there. Um, I'm gonna keep the opacity a little bit lower um, just cause I want it to feel really blended. So essentially we have, um, we're working on the mountain right now with the layer mask. So if I want to reveal more of the mountain, you do white to reveal. And if I want to conceal the mountain picture, you do black to conceal. Um, so I want to reveal the mountain, so I'm going to do white. I'm just going to start painting that on. I can change opacity if I feel like it's too intense, but I actually think this is just about right. I'm gonna do it on this side as well, and it just sort of brings it back. I kinda wanna keep those trees, so I'm not gonna do those. I'm just gonna get really close here. And in a minute, I'll change my brush size. Um, I really like these trees going across their chest, so I'm even gonna reveal those a bit. Kind of interesting looking. Um, I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller so I can kind of get into these little places and reveal more of the mountain detail. And if I slip up and accidentally 
get his head like I think I did there. I'll just go back and black's going to hide. Um, so you get a little more of his hair detail back there. Same with on her face. I want more detail. So I'm going to kind of run the black over them. That way I get the detail back where I want it in her dress. Yeah, I like that. I don't want any of the white on her. just want the green trees. Okay, I like that. And then I love these sticks and I love her dress and I just kind of want to weave them together a little bit. So I'm going to... Um, Bring out a little more of her dress here. I think I'm going to even lower my opacity a little bit more. I want it to be more subtle. Kind of weaving it back in. Actually, I'm just going to kind of paint on here. Kind of bring it back in. Go a little higher. And then I'll paint it off in the areas that I don't want it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the white brush, which is going to reveal the mountainscape, which includes these tree things. Make my brush a little smaller so I can really like draw these twigs on. And I'm going to up the opacity because I want these sticks to really pop. All right, I like that. Um, what else? What else? I think that's pretty close. I'm going to go back um, and just wipe a little bit more off their faces because I want it to be clear. Up the opacity even more to make more of those hard lines. Clean the face up. Oh, get the tree off her chest. Perfect. I feel like they really pop. I just want the trees. I don't want all the white bits. So I'm just kind of cleaning that up and making her dress pop a little more. There we have it. I think that's about good. All right. I hope this was uh, super helpful and I will go ahead and do the video of um, of the other one with this same couple as well. And if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up. I'm happy to walk you through or explain anything that I did here. Definitely not a Photoshop pro. I taught myself this during quarantine when I was super bored, um, but now I'm addicted and I hope you enjoy.